Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Talos Bill Acceptor from uh, CPI or MEI. Used to be Mars, now they are uh, CPI. It's the MEI Talos. It's the uh, successor to the, um, the 2000 series, which we have right here. We'll do a little bit of a comparison here. Um, as you can see, this is the old 2000 series, and you'll notice, you know, we got dip switches, pretty much the same design here. And then on the new Talos, there's no dip switches. You can see on the other side, it's got the same port to plug in. There's, you know, there's nothing else there. There is a, uh, no, there's nothing else. Bill box, relatively the same. Just one one side to access. Sounds the same. One of the one of the improvements I've seen though is there's several improvements with this new validator. Um, the first is reliability. Well, you know the, the 2000 series is very reliable, but this has um, better better bill acceptance ratios. Um, it also has. This thing accepts bills and continues the whole cycle twice as fast as this. So if you have a lot of customers feeding in singles and stuff, this is definitely the uh, validator for you. It is it is a bit pricey. We're also going to compare it to this um, this uh, ICT TAO, which is not a bad acceptor as well. Um, this has a different kind of bill box where the stacker is actually inside the bill box. Um, that one accepts pretty good. It's not as good as this one, um, but it is a bit faster than the old 2000s. So the, the big differences are obviously the speed and reliability is improved, um, but you have no diff switches. So you have to do all the settings with the coupon. There is um, a Bluetooth way to do it with a cell phone i have yet to get that app i'm trying to contact a crane um, another improvement is there's this portion here just comes right out it's just a reflector there's no cord to get in the way if you have some of these that are in um like pinball machines and stuff where the door is tight you don't have to worry about that cord that you see on this one here, this cord right here, that's gone. This button that you have here has been relocated kind of in this recessed hole here. You have to stick like a pencil in there and press it. And that's how you would activate the, the coupon acceptance and stuff. And then, um, all of the air codes are just flashed from the front. Right now it's got no bill box, so it just sits here. <clears throat> it should be flashing every once in a while. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, well, let's, uh, let's give her a go here. Um, I'm pretty sure that these bill boxes are the same. So this one's only a 500. But I'm pretty sure that I could put this one on there and I bet you it would still work. I don't know, let's check it out and see if it does. I don't see how these are that different. Maybe they are. No, no. Yeah, I... yeah, so you, you could use your old bill boxes if you have some high capacity ones, which is totally nice that it's that backwards compatible. We're gonna leave this one on for now. We'll just give you a little demonstration here as to how fast it is. If I get some money out, if I have any money. Um, <clears throat> excuse me while I find some money. <laughs> Poor man. We got our bills here. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, which is not cool. I'm gonna stick this in there. 
one. Uh oh. Maybe we should really give it a test. Really crinkle it up. Not a good test, man. So this one's got ink all over it. So much for that, huh? Maybe it's because I was messing around with it. Yeah. That's bizarre. I wonder if I don't cut it back together. Right? I've never seen it do this. That is really bizarre. I wonder if I didn't put this in all the way. Let's just power cycle at once. Like I said, I've never seen it do that. It might be because I was taking all the cartridges out and all that jazz. Let's try again. You see how fast that was? That was like two seconds. Two seconds, not even. Now, if we were to compare that to this old 2000 series, you'll see how much slower it is. Still going. You see the extra delay. Not much, but it is faster. We did time it, and it, it is exactly twice as fast. Um, <clears throat> then we'll compare that to um, this uh, TAO here. I think it's because I took that uh, that bottom piece out is why I was having problems before. Oh, we got a jam. again. I've had no problems with this up until now. It's so bizarre. Just does not like to be uh, taken out. <laughs> All right, let's try again here. For whatever reason, it just doesn't. That's so bizarre. Your guess is as good as mine. It just does not like me taking this bill box off and on. I had no problems with it so far. It has accepted better than this TAO that's in here. Let's see if this will fit. Fine. And we'll do this one and see how fast this is. This one's somewhere in between the 2000 and the Talos. So. There you go, guys. I just made a little video for you. It's not much, but um, I still recommend this bill acceptor, even though I was having some weird problems with it. I've, like I said, I've, it's probably because I'm doing this one-handed and I'm not putting stuff together correctly because um, I've had no issues with it otherwise. So, And I've had definitely no issues with the 2000 series. I, out of these four uh, TAOs I've had, I've had one where the bill box has failed. So they are a bit cheaper 
and they're not bad. I like the way the bezel looks and stuff. It definitely helps the customer find it. But other than that, eh, it, it's, it, it does tend to spit out bills more, you know. For, and then, you know, this one's been kind of weird today, but like I said, it's probably because I'm, I'm, you know, jamming it in there with one hand. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below and like and subscribe and all that jazz. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.